Hello guys. Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best bass Bluetooth speaker. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. I'm away from the office and don't have quite as many speakers on hand for comparison purposes, but the Motion Plus sounds substantially better than the old Aboom 2, JBL Flip 5 and Sony's new SRS XB23, all of which currently or originally retailed for $100. Not only does the Anchor put out more volume and bass, it has a wider sound stage and smoother sound at higher volumes. A lot of these mini Bluetooth speakers can impress you with how loud they can play for their small size, but they still seem constrained. They have their limitations. So does the Motion Plus, of course, but its ceiling is higher than other portable Bluetooth speakers in this price range. It can't compete with much bigger and much more expensive speakers like the Ahyper Boom or JBL Boombox 2. But it's a good compromise if you're looking for something more affordable that the clear level up sound wise from popular mini Bluetooth speakers from Ultimate Ear. Measuring 7.0 by 3.8 by 3.8 inches, the Black Storm Box Pro sits vertically with a built-in rubber handle on top. Most of its body is covered in wraparound cloth speaker grille, behind which the enclosure houses dual tweeters and a single down-firing mid-range driver that combine for 40 watts and a frequency range of 60 Hz to 20 khz. Tribit describes the Stormbox Pro as a 2.1 speaker. While there are technically two tweeters and one driver handling bass response, describing the latter as a subwoofer is misleading as a speaker this size can't reproduce lows that deep with any sense of power. So it's really like dual stereo tweeters matched with a mid-range, down-firing driver handling bass depth. The top panel houses controls for volume up, volume down, and a central multi-function button that covers playback, track navigation, voice assistance, and call management. There are also dedicated power and pairing buttons on this panel as well as an X-Bass button we'll discuss in the next section. Sonos truly has a smart speaker for every occasion. There's the beam sound bar and play bass speaker and TV stand rolled into one both designed to enhance your viewing experience. Then there's the fantastic sounding play, 5, which packs a punch and the one, a top smart speaker option. The brand even boasts bookshelves and lamps now thanks to its recent collaboration with IKEA. But, for years, Sonos lacked an outdoor speaker. The Sonos Move offers on-the-go Bluetooth play, as well as integrating with a multi-room networked speaker system over Wi-Fi. In this way, it's got most of the functionality of a regular Sonos, along with the very appealing ability to untether it from a power supply, thanks to an internal battery. It's very much in the style of previous Sonos models, You've a black speaker with a metal front grille, with capacitive playback control buttons along the top alongside an array of four far-field mics. Around the rear you'll find a power button, a Bluetooth Wi-Fi toggle button and a multi-room pairing button. That'll be down to its weight, we'd imagine. Standing 240x 160x 126mm, it's portable, but it's not small. Ultimate Ear speakers often boast a sporty design that is characterized by mesh fabric covers and plastic hardware, and the Hyper Boom continues in this tradition. At the same time, Ultimate Ears has chosen to make the Hyper Boom a little more discreet by opting for a black finish, rather than the many colorful options you can choose from when buying a Boom or Mega Boom. It also differs from similar party speakers from competitors such as JBL and Sony which are often less subdued and sometimes come equipped with flashing lights in all the colors of the rainbow. Another thing that distinguishes it from previous
This design of the JBL Boombox 2 is almost a carbon copy of the previous model. In fact, had we put the two together next to each other, it would have been hard to pick them out, though JBL wisely changed a few accents to make them less identical. For instance, the JBL logo on one side now has an exclamation mark, while the underside of the handle has a little extra color to it. These are definitely subtle cues, especially when you throw in the fact JBL is sticking to both the black and camo variants, leaving no room for any other funky color options. The Boombox 2 is also almost exactly the same in size and weight, 